in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth, light and dark, sea and land, sun and moon and stars, plants and animals and people lovingly formed in God's own image. God set the glory of the universe in motion and began the great journey, and it was very good. But the people hid from God. Their journeys were not as God had intended. Had intended. They lost the path intended for them, and there was separation from God. The journey was disrupted, <coughs> scattered, everyone going their own way. But God had a plan. A guide, a Messiah, was coming to show people the way back to the right path. God and the people would once again be able to walk the journey together, reunited by one who was able to lead the people back to God. I am God's messenger. And I have a journey of my own to make. I have just been sent by God to announce the birth of the greatest guide who will ever walk the earth, who can bring the people back to God. Follow me as I travel to Nazareth to visit a young woman who has been chosen by God to give birth to the Son and begin the next step of our journey. Her name is Mary. Follow me. Now the heavens start to whisper as the veil is growing thin. Earth from slumber wakes to listen to the stirring faint within. Seed of promise deeply planted, child to spring from Jesse's stem. Like the soil beneath the frost line, hearts grow soft to welcome him. Heavy clouds that block the moonlight now begin to drift away. Diamond brilliance through the darkness shines the hope of coming day. Christ the morning star of thunder beams within a world grown dim. Lions and the bands to fullness, hearts grow warm to welcome him. Christ, eternal Son of justice, Christ, the rose of wisdom seed, come to bless with fire and fragrance hours of yearning, hurt, and need. In the lonely, in the stranger, in the outcast hid from view, Childhood comes to grace the manger. Teach our hearts to you who are highly favored. What kind of greeting is this? You worry me. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. 
his kingdom will never end. How can this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is God's name. Mary, Caesar Augustus has issued a decree that there is to be a census of the entire Roman world. We must travel to Bethlehem, to my hometown. Bethlehem, the time will come for the baby to be born, and Mary will give birth to a son. She'll wrap him in cloths and lay him in a manger, because there's no room available for them.
Now, I have another message to deliver in these fields near Bethlehem. What's that? Look out! Do not be afraid. I bring to you great tidings of great joy. Today, to you, a Savior is born in the town of Bethlehem, and he will be Christ the Lord. Mary will give birth to a son. She will wrap him in swaddling clothes and lay him in a manger. trouble. Why have you come? Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him.
My advisors inform me that the child will be born in Bethlehem in Judea. So, go carefully, search for him, and when you find him, <laughs> report to me, and then I too can worship the king. <laughs> if you can. Rest for a moment knowing that Jesus, the Savior, has been born for you. This is where the journey of Jesus begins. And Jesus is the greatest guide ever born who will lead us back to God's intended path. This will be a different kind of journey. And trust me, Nothing about this journey is like anything that came before.
listening to Westminster's Christmas Journeys. I'm Pastor Kelly Wadsworth, and I don't know if Mary received a round of applause after giving birth, but she sure deserved it. <laughs> so for all who were in this production this evening, let's give them a round of applause. into valleys that we would not anticipate. But in each step of the way, it is a winding path that ultimately leads us back to the birth of Christ, to the Spirit of God. Go forth on your own unexpected adventure. Go forth on your own another way home. Go in peace. Amen. Amen.